This is a $1,000 New York City apartment. This entire one bedroom apartment. The pictures made it look dark, but it's actually sunny. And it's nice. Welcome to Upper Manhattan. I've never been here before, but it looks like there's a lot happening. This is the tunnel that leads to the subway. Believe it or not, the train is down there. And once you get there, everything's fine. But this was kind of shocking in a cool way. And look at that, it's really not far. It's like a five minute walk. I don't know why this says 16 minutes. Appreciate you watching. No problem. Have a good one. You should subscribe too. Then right here we got coffee. Then we got the barber shop. That's another restaurant over there in white. So after the restaurant, we got a little flower shop. These are looking pretty good and there's six bucks. And then we got a full grocery store. And then there's this bus stop in front of the grocery store. This might be the only gas station in town though. Look, there's a massive line. Today's apartment's so cheap, you'll probably get a car and you can fill it up down the street. Just avoid the Dunkin' Donuts inside. It's not even 87 octane. Bet you didn't know there was a massive bus terminal here. I didn't know, but this is pretty convenient if you want to go somewhere. Check this out, the inside. It's like uh, waiting at an airport or something without the security lines. Now just outside the bus terminal, there's like this little city. Blink Fitness, Gap, Factory. How they make the shirt thinner than this, which came from Gap, I don't know. And there's also tons of local restaurants. This one's also a juice bar. They got some snacks. Look at that, every storefront is something different. And we had a subway, but it's closed. That means the people that live here are smart enough to know that the meatball sub might be a questionable choice. But you can't go wrong with some fruits and some fresh vegetables, good morning, and some rotisserie chicken. Oh man, that looks extra crispy. But if you don't like chicken, why don't you go with the fish restaurant? Look, they got grilled salmon, they got a great looking buffet, and there is another vegetable market. And look at this, you can get your nails done, you can get a tattoo, then you can do your laundry, and your reward is something sweet from the bakery. Actually, that's not true. Everyone I talk to says your reward for getting a tattoo is the next tattoo you get afterwards. But bad news, over here we got some fake Mexican food and an advertisement for fake coffee. There's nothing Mexican about a burrito that's 90% liquid. love the fact that there are so many like local markets. Kind of makes you wonder what makes KFC think they got a chance. Actually, if you're around the corner here, you see a ton of other shops. Verizon with that 5G, better than T-Mobile's 5G. Then here we got the Total Beauty Supply, Urgent Care. We're not really missing anything up here. Look, there's even a predatory bank. It's hard to imagine that a $1,000 apartment is in a place like this. You'd think that with rents being as high as they are, a place like what we're about to see would be out of the way with no signs of life, no restaurants, but everything about this seems awesome. Okay, this is the first building, and the two places that we're gonna see, there's two of them, there we go, now you should be able to see. One is in here and the other's down the street. This video is not sponsored, but I used this app, it's called Block A right here, you open it up. You can view apartments and tour them on your own, and your phone has like an app that lets you in. To get in the building, you gotta access the smart pad. Um, I hit buzz me into the building, and... And now you tour the place just like you would anything else. blown away by the fact that we're in here and this was actually pretty easy to use so check it out shout out to them for hooking me up with this and what we're gonna see after this because even though this is cheap it's really nice there's a walk-in closet right here by the door look at the size of this jackets luggage boots throw them in here and after you walk out of there look at that you go right to your kitchen and get a snack Look 
the paperwork is still here. And you can tell no one's ever put food in there. But wait, there's more. The oven, this is new too. There's also a window in here letting in some natural light. And I think there might actually be too many cabinets. But even if you don't use all these to cook, you could put your ugly Christmas sweaters way up there in the top. Sink's looking good. Pressure's decent. And this is so big, you could get a table right here, or at least a rolling counter. Look, there's a plug. So, you know, you could have some shelves, you could plug in like a microwave or whatever. Right now, there are apartments in lower Manhattan that aren't one bedrooms. They're a thousand bucks, but they're as big as just this kitchen. The living room's 12 feet long by 14 feet, 11 inches. This is bigger than my living room. There's a free AC. View here is the same as the kitchen. And this big guy right here, this is your heater. And believe it or not, it's inside of a heater cover. Look at that. I guess you could have a kitchen table right here by these windows. That would make sense since that's the entry. In this corner, you could have a couch and then have the entertainment there or on that wall. And look at the floors. They've got this original detail. This place has tons of character. And to be honest with you, the building's pretty nice. I don't think any characters are living here. Okay, I might be too much of a caveman to work this, but this is an even bigger closet than the one by the door, and it's right here in the hallway that leads to the bedroom. Nine and a half by 11 feet, two inches. What an absolutely awesome bedroom. Okay, it's not fancy, but the fact that you're not sleeping in one of the closets is a huge win. Two windows, lots of light. You could have a king bed if you want. There's no closet in the room, but look at that. We got a full length. If your bed is here by the windows or over there, you could have dressers and a desk. This bathroom's awesome. It even has a window. Nice looking full size tub. You can tell it was reglazed. Oh, and this is so sweet. We've got the old school drain. If you lift it up like this, the water will go in. If you wanna like block it off and use it as a drain, you just drop it in. There's also a new medicine cabinet. Big sink, we got some storage underneath it. This cabinet, this throne, this stuff looks like it was recently replaced. I was expecting way worse. New tile as well. But there are apartments that cost two and even three times as much as this with bathrooms that aren't this good. This was the one, this was the cheaper of the two places. Now we're gonna go see this one for an extra $30 a month. kitchen is and it's getting replaced that's where the stove is gonna go and then the fridge is probably over here look at all the outlets there's probably also gonna be more cabinets but hey look how big this is and this is the whole place look at that I never thought I'd say this but I think this is worth the extra $30 right after you walk in you've got a double hallway because it's twice as long as the other one. Shoes go here, and right here we've got ourselves a really big closet. This is all the stuff they were cleaning the place with, but just look, it's massive. And I'm guessing that this wall, it has to be here, it probably can't come out, but at least because of this, the kitchen's entirely separate. Eleven and a half feet by sixteen and a half feet. Den over there. Kitchen table right here. Closer to the kitchen. This here be your heater. You turn that knob to get it to uh, pump out more heat. And look, we actually kind of have a view here. You can kind of see things. This apartment is definitely a little bit bigger and certainly a lot brighter than the other one. That doesn't make the other place bad, but if you can afford it, this is probably the way to go. It just feels larger as well. But if you look at the floor, we don't have those cool details. That is a crazy view. We're up on like a hill overlooking the rest of the neighborhood. Okay, this is crazy. That's the building. You can see that it's uh, pretty high up. Our apartment's one of those guys. You can see that like this structure is holding up the entire block. But the good news is this one's closer to the train. It's right down there. And this is an insanely big, bright bedroom. 13 feet, 10 inches by 11 feet, eight inches. What is going on over here? Okay, I guess this is like insulation uh, between the wall and the heating system, which also includes that 
pipe. Bed can go here or here. Or over here. And wherever you don't put the bed, you could put dressers and a desk. Just like in the other spot. There's a big closet between the bedroom and the bathroom. And the bathroom is my favorite part. of a toilet that never clogs. Seriously, if you clog this, I don't think you can live anywhere. We got a little shelf for a small plant and a frosted window. Tub is super cute, love the old school design, but it's got like a newer drain mechanism, which will be less confusing. Three knobs. This one says cold, this one says hot, this one says hot. That's confusing. No medicine cabinet, one's getting put in. Good pressure coming out of the sink. You got the toothbrush holder. And if you're ever wondering what's going on in an apartment you're about to rent, just look under the sink. We have a towel that was used to clean things. Out of these two places, I would probably take this one. Granted, I don't know what the kitchen's gonna look like, so I would need a little faith. I'm assuming it's gonna be just fine. Subscribe if you had fun. Check out the video description for a link to the app if you wanna tour apartments on your own in New York. I'll see you in the next video.